Hey guys, it's Dayang and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm actually going to be doing something that is not related to beauty at all. And I realized that I've not done a tech video in a really, 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 really long time. So I thought this is actually a good time for me to do a tech video. And this is going to be a Singaporean tag. If you guys are watching this on the week after National Day, I know that National Day has already passed, but I feel that it's better late than never. At least it's like only a week after National Day and I really want to get this up this week because um, I'm not going to wait for next year because I actually planned to do this last year but I haven't really got the chance to do that and I know for the fact that I'm going to upload it this year but uh, I couldn't upload it on the day of National Day because I was very busy uh, preparing for my engagement and I really did not have the time to film so I thought this day is actually a good time for me to film, edit and upload this video. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy this video. So there are 10 questions to this tag. So let's take a look at the first question. Okay, the first question is favorite breakfast drink. Hmm, my favorite breakfast drink would have to be either hot Milo. Uh, I really enjoy drinking teh o or just normal English tea. English tea. Just normal tea lah basically. Uh, milk tea is okay but I don't usually drink that. Uh, I'm not a coffee person so black coffee is a no-no for me even though my mom often makes that but usually I'll just take a sip but I don't like coffee. Oh I really like that despite the fact that I do not like coffee I still really enjoy drinking. You know the old town white coffee the one with the hazelnut flavor oh my god that one is so freaking good. You can actually get it from NQC and I believe Shing Siong has it as well. So these are my favorites. Number two, favorite local food. Oh my god, this is hard. I cannot just choose one, obviously, because I love, 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 love eating so much. I just love our local food, you know. Like I said, I'm not going to mention just one. I have a few. So the first thing would have to be roasted chicken rice. Oh my god. Roasted chicken rice is my favorite. I don't like Hainanese because I don't know, I just don't like I prefer the roasted version. Egg prata with fish curry. Oh my god. Especially, you know, if you put... They call it like prata telur banje, you know? Like what you do is you just pour like really a lot of that curry gravy and then like if, especially if you like take it away, you just have to ask the, 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 the guy to just pour a like a lot of the gravy and then you just pack it. And then by the time you reach home, the prata will actually soak up all of the gravy and oh my god, it's so good. Now I feel like having it. Oh my god. And what else? I like nasi lemak as well. I don't know if I can consider nasi lemak as our local dish, but it's actually one of my favorites as well, especially if there's uh, fried chicken in it. Oh my god. Oh, naan and butter chicken. I know this is like northern Indian food, but I normally have it as well when I'm here. And I really like it a lot. Uh, naan and butter chicken, sedap. So, so, yeah. Third question is favorite Singlish slang. I like to use the word la. Like, apa la? Like, what la? Even like, when I speak Malay and English, usually I will include the la in my sentences. I love the word relax also. Like, eh, relax ah. It derives from the word relax, but we Malays, we usually use the word relax. Like, R I L E K, relax. Eh, relax ah, you know? Oh yeah guys, I totally forgot to add this in as well. I really enjoy using the words se, sa and sia also at the end of my sentences. Like I normally use this when I converse with my friends. Okay, question number four, favorite hangout place. If I meet up with friends uh, to, for like you know some catch-up sessions, I will normally like we will normally go to Starbucks and just sit down and chat. But when me and Faris, whenever we hang out or when we feel like lepaking, you know, or just sit down and just have a chat, we will normally go to uh, Marina Bay Sands. You know, there's right at the end of the shops or at Marina Bay Sands, there's actually like some steps which face uh, all of the CBD area as well as the Singapore River. Usually there'll be not a lot of people who will sit there but me and Faris we love sitting there because of the breeze and usually we'll, we like to sit there at night like about 8-ish, 9-ish. Uh, just We will just buy like gongcha and then we'll just sit down there and we'll just chill, lepa, hang out and just talk. Question number 5. Number 1 Singaporean person. I don't have only... Number 1 Singaporean person. Don't have, like really, there's none. I don't have like a particular 
number one Singaporean person, so I'm not gonna answer this question. Okay, question number six. Favorite national day song? I have two actually. Okay, the first one would have to be Where I Belong, which was sung by Tanya Chua. And the song actually goes like this. Where I belong, where I keep my heart and soul, where dreams come true for us, where we walk together hand in hand, towards a future so bright. Where I belong, where I keep my heart and soul, where we are one big family. Ah, I'm panting, I don't know why, maybe because I talk too fast. The second one would have to be, I think, everybody's favourite, which is Home. Oh my god, I just love that song so much. This is home, truly, where I know I must be, where my dreams wait for me, where the river always flows. This is home. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry if I sound very like there's a lot of vibration in my in my voice or if you think that my voice is sucky, I'm so sorry, but that's how it is. Okay, move on. Let's move on. Seven. Okay. Favorite local artist? It can be either a singer or an actor. I love Taufik Batisa so much. It's like especially like like the first few years after he won Singapore Idol and before he was married and oh my god, like every time when we see him on TV we'll be like I don't know whether you guys will be like screaming for him, but I loved Taufik Batisa. But now that he's married, like a bit, I know. Taufik is married already, so uh, I don't know. Okay, never mind. There's another particular singer in Singapore which currently I am obsessed with, and I think that he's very good looking, and he's from a band, and his name is Benjamin King. <laughs> I don't know. I just find him very good looking, and he happens to be my fiance's friend back in BMT and I just found out like a few weeks ago that he is actually Fireza's friend. We happened to see him at Al Azhar the other time and I was like I was like nudging to Fireza the other time. Hey, oh my god, the, uh, you know Benjamin King? He is there. Then he suddenly told me that yeah he's my friend. I was like what? How come I didn't know that he's your friend? So anyway, story aside. Next question is one word to describe Abeng, Alien and Madrid or Mina. Ratchet? I don't know. Well, but one thing for sure, I'm really, I'm kind of not really in favor of them. <laughs> Question number nine, uh, Milo or Holix? Oh my god, Milo, duh. Like every Singaporean kid, it's back during my day or my time. Like right now, I'm not sure about it. I don't know whether kids nowadays know of the Milo truck. You know, like sometimes, um, especially when my school, we were having our sports day and usually there'll be a Milo truck and we'll be like, queuing for it and the and the cup is like only this small okay guys it it is i don't know how or why the milo is just so nice and creamy and so sedap it's just so nice you know and you cannot really get that kind of taste whenever you make your own three in one milo the closest to it would have to be like you know those packet milos that you normally can get from like NTUC and all. I think it has a pretty similar taste, but hands down, Milo. Okay, question number 10, which is the very last question, is one word to describe Singapore. Okay, last time I would say it's safe, but right now it's still considerably quite safe, but there has been a lot of like killings, murders, kidnappings of kids going on lately so I wouldn't use the word safe so I would say it's expensive if you are a Singaporean you will know why because everything in Singapore is so expensive our standard of living here in Singapore is actually very high and things are very expensive here especially cars and houses and yeah it's just very expensive I know that other people may think something else but this is purely my own opinion. Alright guys, so that's it for my Singaporean tag. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and tag some people. At the top of my head, I can think of Tiara, which is my sister-in-law. I can think of... Okay, Arini, I know that you, you have already done this video, but you can go ahead and do it if you want to. Luin Fennel as well, and Shanti from the Leia V. Who else? Ikin, Ikinman, if you're watching. And then, who else? Nami Makeup Holics. 
I can't really remember. Okay, if there are anybody else that I want to tag, I'll just leave it in the comment section down below. Okay guys, so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. So please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. And before I end this off, I just want to thank you guys for all of your well wishes based on my video last week. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!